In 2019, Google revealed its ambitious cloud gaming service, Stadia. The promise was huge. Play high-end games with realistic graphics on any device, even a low-end laptop or a phone. It seemed like the perfect solution for gaming on the go, potentially ending the need for expensive gaming PCs and consoles forever. But the dream turned into a nightmare. Stadia saw far less demand than expected and was shut down in early 2023. This raises a crucial question. Was Stadia just another victim of Google's mismanagement? Or was it a great idea in a market with no future? Cloud gaming sounds like a perfect solution on paper. A server in the cloud renders the game, streams it to your device, and processes your every move. This promises efficiency and convenience. You'd never need a driver update again and could play the latest games instantly. But gaming has a non-negotiable requirement that other cloud services don't. Low latency. Tolerable latency in gaming is measured in milliseconds. This means that even with lightning fast internet, the physical distance between you and the server can exceed about 1000 kilometers. Any further, and the lag becomes unplayable. So, cloud gaming servers need to be close to their users, serving a limited geographic area. The biggest appeal of cloud computing is efficiency. You can serve 100 people with 50 graphics cards because they're not all using the service at the same time. But this model doesn't work for gaming. Servers must be within 1,000 kilometers, which means they'll primarily serve people in the same time zone. Everyone wants to game at the same time, evenings and weekends. Just look at Steam's hourly player charts. Imagine how much more concentrated that would be in a single region. So, to meet peak demand, a service will need to have a lot of hardware sitting idle most of the day. This completely erases the efficiency and cost savings cloud computing is supposed to provide. Ultimately, you're paying a similar price to play on a computer you don't own, with the added problem of latency. This is why latency-critical applications like a self-driving car's autopilot system rely on their own hardware, not the cloud. Just like a Tesla uses its own computer to make driving decisions, you'll want to use your own PC to play Forza. This is why services like GeForce Now won't replace your gaming PC. But what about gaming on the go? If you can't access your PC, can't cloud gaming on your phone be the perfect backup? I don't think so. The market is already full of much better options. Handheld consoles like the Nintendo Switch, Valve's Steam Deck, and Microsoft's new handhelds are far more viable alternatives. NVIDIA recently announced the arrival of 5,080 graphics cards to service and the native GeForce Now app for Steam Deck. As you can see, NVIDIA isn't positioning the system as a competitor to handheld devices but as a collaborative effort. With a new 5080s, you can play the latest games at 4K at 60 FPS. They'll look great on the Steam Deck's HD screen. Lowering the resolution and increasing the frame rate is also an option, but the original Steam Deck has a 60 Hz refresh rate, while the OLED version has a 90 Hz refresh rate. Cloud streaming does reduce battery consumption, but as graphics cards become more power efficient, even this benefit will become less significant. In a way, NVIDIA's own innovation in hardware could be the biggest threat to GeForce Now's future. Ultimately, I don't believe cloud gaming services can ever deliver the efficiency, cost savings, and low latency that gamers demand. The very nature of gaming requires local processing. GeForce Now is a clever service, but I think it's doomed to fail as a true replacement for a gaming PC. If you agree or disagree, let me know in the comments. And if you want to see more content like this, be sure to like and subscribe.